motive was I needed? Do I need it to go wrong? Polarized in hair and pain, pumping through my veins. Eyes in flames, call my name. I breathe, I burn. Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome to the stream. Hello to those of you watching this on YouTube or watching this post pod on Twitch. Every single one of you are awesome individuals. Uh, it is a new year. YouTube is probably like I said, six months into the year at this point. <laughs> Hey, dude. Hey, Nitro. How's it going, man? Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you had a good New Year's, my friend. So, today we are going to be playing a game that we played last back in May. I was worried to go back to it because I didn't really have anything else to play and I actually enjoy card games a lot. Um, so we're going to be playing some Monster Train. It's going good? Good to hear, good to hear. Don't have any other... Well, no, there is just one other announcement in that... Um, the Completely Baked Boys are kind of making it official for the moment. That Sundays are their collab days. So, what we're going to be doing is with me... Biscuit, Spud, and Tati. We're going to be basically rolling on a three-week rotation on who's streaming. So, this week it's me for Back for Blood... In the afternoon, next week it is Tatty in the afternoon for Back for Blood. And then the week after it will be completely baked. And we'll just be keep doing that as we're doing those collab streams. We've got some other games potentially in the works. Um, but yeah, we'll be, we'll be going with that. Um, I haven't worked out what I'm playing next week at all yet. Um, I might just stick with Monster Train for a while, <laughs> quite frankly. Um, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I don't think you will be looking at my ugly mug any more than you already have to. At least not in close-up anyway. What you want to be seeing is the gameplay that you don't want, <laughs> that you're not here for. <laughs> Bring you all of the content that nobody wants. 
monster train. Hell. Don't start screwing around audio, please. Frozen when heaven extinguished the pyre. Just watch the intro again, because we haven't seen it in a while. Is enough to reignite a revolution. Bone Shaker, our train travels the rail connecting our two. Yeah, it sounded like the um, audio when I loaded it up was being shaky. The last surviving remains of the pyre drives the heart of our engine. The gilded wing will stop at nothing to destroy it, but the champions of hell will defend what's ours. Because if we don't, there will be nothing left to defend. Oh yeah, I could get the last divinity as well, DLC. We'll see. Oh, I had an active run going already? Might as well continue, I guess. I didn't realize I had an active run. I have no idea what this build is going to be. This is going to be fun. Where else are we? Oh, we're only like two sections in. Okay, so everything's kind of... Um, kind of going. Okay, we got... A wild ten... More than 10. Quick. He grants quick on everything on his floor. Okay. Uh, okay, we got some armor gain. Rage. Sweep to apply frostbite. I mean, probably him on the ground floor if I can get him on the ground floor. Along with that, to apply frostbite on everything. Second floor with him? We got, so we got a tank. Yeah, like those three all on the same floor? Probably. I mean, definitely these two on the same floor. What do we even have? Titan's Claw. Anything other than frozen cards are reduced to zero. Okay. Three magical power. I don't need to go to the Pyre. We've got the Dark Forge. We're upgrading our champion. Uh, spells, money, and the unit. The card duplication. Do we have anything actually in the deck we want to duplicate? Actually, nothing worth duplicating at this point in time. I don't think there's anything, actually, anything worth removing. I mean, we won't duplicate anything. I don't think we need another card either. Ooh, okay. We can apply rooted. So is this kind of like dungeon runs on Hearthstone? 
Um, slightly. Um, you start with a single hero. You're given like a small amount of cards to begin with, and then as you go through, you build up your deck. You can customize each card. Um, whenever you visit merchants. Um, I'm trying to think what a, what is a better. A more closer version would be Slay the Spire, I think. So we're sweeping and keep. I mean, that's. Ooh, okay. Sh sure. Well, that actually changes up completely how I want to start this. Yeah, lots of customizations, indeed. <laughs> I can't play that. Okay, that's fine. Take the three damage to the Empire. Oh, he can't even fit on that floor? Shit, okay. Man, I haven't seen you since last year. Hey, <laughs> Gecko, indeed. Happy New Year, man. Welcome in, welcome in. Alright, um... Okay, if I can't even play him, then sure. I should have applied spell weakness. Never mind. Turn. How's it today? Yeah, I'm doing good. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing well.
that's a problem. Those for sure. There we go. What is this game? This game is called Monster Train. It's a deck building roguelite, a roguelite essentially. And those two runs are the same. You get given a deck at the start and you build upon it, so it's kind of like, um... Kind of like Slay the Spire. Um, some of the game modes in Hearthstone. Uh, let's take the Pirate Guard. Well, that's interesting. Oh, three. This is discarded for the Undertale, will also be played. In Katana, play one armor to friendly units. That could be good. Hmm, okay. I guess I haven't played too many deck games. Oh, that's fair. Deck building games are interesting. Um, they were. So, certain people can play them. Only, really, only certain people can play them because. So, intri well, not intricate, but they take um, your brain being wired a certain way for them to kind of make sense. I mean, anyone could really play them because you can pick them up and just throw cards in, have a good time. But some people, people like me, take it far too seriously. <laughs> Because of how our brains are wired. So we don't need the 20 HP. We could get the spells. We get the extra money. But. It sounds super strategy based. It is a bit. It is strategy based. Yes. But. <laughs> we could go to the merchants of trinket. Gain another trinket for free as well. And remove two cards. Let's see what we get from here. Okay. Merchants are 25% reduced. Can I check the map? How many more merchants? I've got merchants of magic. A merchant of steel. And a merchant of magic and steel. Not only that, but we got a merchant of trinkets right here. I think I'm going to take the guild marker. Because that's going to reduce the price of everything in the shop here by 25%. <laughs> I don't really need the extra HP. So yeah, we'll go with the guild marker. Ooh. Oh, 
All right, so this is gonna be this is gonna be good. Cold beard is good, mainly because we have cold um cold Celia who applies frostbite. Um, I think I have more frostbite, and no, I think she's the only one who plays frostbite. But she's one of my ma oh no, there we go. That's spell weakness. So I'm going to grab that purely because of cold Celia. Um, we have one healing spell? No, we've got two healing spells. So I don't think Sab Tap works. Well, I mean, it kind of does, but I don't think it's as great here. If we had more healing spells, yes. But there's no guarantee that we'll be able to proc that every turn. The jack strips are just good. But cuddle beard, definitely. Hey, 420 money! Just please! Um I think picking up the jack strips is a good idea. Like two extra damage off the off the back going on is great. Off topic. Any games you really like to recommend on stream? I'm trying to figure out something new to try before the sales ends. Um, I mean, it very much depends on what you're kind of looking to play, man. Um, not to put you on the spot, sorry. Hey, don't worry, it's all fine. I don't know, maybe something like uh, Sinking City or... Um, this is really... I enjoy this a lot. So I'd recommend this. Uh, maybe say Sinking City, Call of Cthulhu. Uh, maybe The Shore if it's on sale. I haven't played The Shore, but it's one that I want to play. Um, Cultist Simulator was fun. Once I got my head around of what I'm meant to be doing with the game. Um, is it Potion Simulator is one that I had? And a minute, let me just double check. So I'm just changing my screens. Um, Potion Craft, that's the one. I mean, if you're looking for Lovecraftian games, I mean, if you enjoy Lovecraftian or Cosmic Horror, the sure you can't really go wrong with. Um, yeah, we're gonna pick up jack strips. Uh, then what we can do is we're gonna re-roll the store so we get new items. Okay, icicle fracture is good. Main reason we got Titan's claw. Um, we can only get one of these. Okay, so Priory's Cloak. That could be interesting to take. But again, we don't have as much healing as I would like. If we had more healing, Priory's Cloak would be better. Um, I'm not going to take the Pyre Stone Housing. I'm going to take Icicle Fracture, mainly because it actually works with Titan's Core. <laughs> Um, and then I'm not going to remove any cards. I think we're fine. Alright, what do we got? Non. Okay. But we get a random artifact. Sure. I, I'm going to be doing something a little more different here.
Oh, she's dead. Shit. Fuck. Do that. One of these have sweep? Why are you dying? Oh, you have sweep. Shit. This failed. Hmm. All right. Um, we have a problem. Okay, and you can't be attacked for eight turns. Great. Let's just slow you down as much as possible then. Mm, I lost stealth for two turns there. It's 49 over 20. Oh no, that's... That's, still, that's 49. Oh, uh, that's 56. That's more damage. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, run's over. <laughs> hey, Zelda man, how's it going, man? Welcome in, welcome in. Let's try this again. Should we go heels? No. Heels. I prefer Stygian. Happy New Year, Zelda man. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Alright, so we got... We got three healing spells already. That's good. How many other healing spells do we have? And we've got... Bro, we got a lot of healing spells. So we got six healing spells. That's actually a fairly good start. And then we got... A lot of frostbite. <laughs> Good and bad in almost equal measure, though leaning to bad. How's things with you? Uh, uh, sure, let's go with that. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse, I guess. <laughs> Happy New Year to you two and everyone here in chat. Indeed. Happy New Year to chat. Y'all are fantastic people. Alright. Alright, let's see what we get from the forge. Ooh. So we can either go tanky, or we can go explosives. Now we got a lot of healing. We can continue getting healing and make our healing better. Explosive could be good here, and I'm leading towards explosive. Because as I said, we got six. We got six cards that give us healing right now. Token of the traitor. Playing a spell deals two damage to a random enemy unit on that floor. That's gonna be good. If we're gonna be doing a lot of healing. We can also be doing some damage. I like the sounds of this. A good start. What do we get? Non-boss enemy start with spikes. If I'm going to be doing damage through healing, that's not bad. go. What's that though? Hey, Sekma, how's it going, man? Happy New Year to you, my friend. My son. There we go. We'll give something there. <laughs> that works. My rejuvenate procs my 20 damage explosion. Fantastic! This is a great start! <laughs> I 
Um, now, normally, I would run a Sting build, but we're not going with Sting. <laughs> Vine Grasp can be good. We can move units around. But, Glimmer. We have heals. We have explosions. <laughs> we are going explosion. Oh, we got the Mollusk Mage. Awesome. Um... The flash freeze isn't too bad. Offering tokens. Do I have anything for discard and damage? No. I mean, that's good for cycling. Feeling okay? Happy to be here. Hey, thank you very much, Zachman. I appreciate it, man. Do appreciate you stopping through. I appreciate every single one of you fantastic individuals for stopping on by. I'm tempted to take the Mollusk Mage. Because that affects... That affects everything in my deck. And that increases that a ten by tenfold. Like 20 HP. And then... I deal damage to the front enemy times... Five times the amount healed. That's 100 damage. Straight up. Yeah, we're going to Mozart Mage. Hey, Grey, how's it going? Especially heals the kill. Hey! He asked my uh, mod, Fist of a Hella, best way of healing in the uh, in the um, Air Force was to go out and was the horse to go on the offensive. All right, so we got a choice. We can either go for extra money. We can get. We can upgrade our spe and we can upgrade our spells. Or we can upgrade our units. And gain, and gain another Stygian unit. So, I mean, we do kind of need... We do need more units. But if I can make my heals better... Because what do we have next? Oh, we got a du card duplication. But the artifacts on the other side. Damn. Are we getting just... They're giving us... Just Stygian. There's... A merchant of steel there. Oh, hell then. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I think we're good. I don't think we need another unit just yet. Because they could give us another unit in this boss fight. So we get the extra the extra money. Then we get the extra magics. Stack stone. Upgrades of spells so gains double stack. To be honest, double stack's not going to help us here. Just spent over an hour looking for Maze's lost mule in Mycroft and I couldn't find him. Oh no! That sucks. <laughs> Alright, so we can reduce all of these, one of these down to zero costs. Now, that affected the game magic. I think... I think if I do that, because that then... Rest my Restal Detonation could go... This one could go up to 30. Which would then be 150 damage to the front enemy. Oh no, it reminds me my Skull Horse Blinky. Or, um, Binky. Uh, he feel it. He fell in the ocean, and I could never find him again. Oh no! That sucks. All right. Um, I'm gonna make it. Do I want to make that zero cost, or do I want to make engraft zero costs? If I'm making graft zero cost, that basically means I. It's 
Restore one health, gain one mana, and draw one card. Um, let's reroll, see what we can get. Oh, that's awesome. Eternal Stone. Don't think we've got any room. No, we don't have anything in there, so that's not good. But. Do both of those. And then. I can make one of these free. But I want a re I want them to have recycle if I can get it. He wandered off while we were working and I went hundreds of blocks in every direction and nothing. Ouch. Was he name tagged? I mean, that's rough. Um, I'm trying to think what I want to... If I want to drop the cost of anything else, I want to save my money. I might drop the cost of Flash Freeze. <laughs> Plus saddle and chests! Oh, oh, that is rough. I'm surprised he despawned. If he was named, they shouldn't have despawned. Right? Unless I've got no idea how Minecraft works, which, I mean, that's entirely possible. <laughs> Alright, so... Units enters with 10 armor, but we gain an additional draft. I think... Okay, we got a priest, so they, do, they heal. I, I think we turn this on and gain the additional draft. I don't think he despawned. I think he just fucked off and got so fucking far away. That, that might be true. We, did. we only started with one heal, but that's okay. Let's do that. I want the extra money. Falling down the hole could be a good shout as well. Um, alright, we've got... Oh, that? Because he didn't actually heal. That didn't work. God damn it. Okay. Um... 
None of those really fit with what we're going for for the deck. I don't need two of you. We don't need... We don't really want to be discarding cards, so spell weakness. Alright, so we got this. What can we do? Not really doing... I mean... We're not really buffing. We're doing damage. I would prefer to tank. But technically, my guy wants to take damage so that we're getting healing. So he can proc those other ones. I guess we stack cold as we've got a load of cold already. We don't need the heal. I don't need to hell vent. Hey, Zelda man, thank you very much for the 20 bits. Fortunately, I mean, it's been done before, but I'll say it again. It's not the correct amount to summon Lord Cthulhu, but I do appreciate the attempt. And that means you're number one on the bit cheer leaderboard for this month. All right, I'm going to go this way because I want the artifact. Really? Uh, okay, concussive coals, I think. Because we're not, we don't have any stings. We do. I mean, that gives us a sting. Yeah, I mean, if we were on a damage build, sting would be very useful. But dazed. Lord Cthulhu is hard to wake up, just like me. <laughs> I hear that one. Um, Alright, let me grab a unit here. I need a tank, goddammit. We already got one of these. I'll take a siren of the sea. Alright, let's see what's in the cave. Ooh, card duplication. Okay, a fissure in the ice of the bone shake. A uh, fissure in the ice forces the bone shaker to stop. You've seen cracks like this before, often allowing you to multiply your forces through some ancient magic, but this one is different. Unstable. Throwing something into the fissure could have unusual side effects, while absorbing the energy from afar could have more expected effect. Do I want to... Do I... Do I want to throw something in and gain five copies of a card? I think I do. We could gain this. This would be incredible mana re repository. Because, I mean... These are great, but they require you to actually heal something for it to detonate. So I think I want to throw in five engrafts. Lord Cthulhu is uh, one lazy shrimp cocktail. <laughs> no, he's just really tired. Yeah, I'm throwing I'm throwing in graft in. <laughs> Throw a card in, please. In graft. We now have six in grafts. <laughs> that is six mana. For free. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, okay. Talos the architect. Instead of waking him up, we should join him. I mean, before the stream, I was insanely tired. Alright, so friendly units enter with sap 1. Talos attacks every turn and applies days on strike. Fuck. Well, she's just not moving around my fucking field. Alright, that's actually a great start. I need to get some... Okay, that's fine.
Oh, you son of a bitch. giant nap, indeed. One giant nape. I mean, he has got one big neck. I don't know that feeling bloody shattered myself. Yeah. Uh, awesome. I should do some damage. Getting rid of, um, like, stopping the decay on Frostbite, it's pretty amazing. Alright, transfer all Frostbite on this floor to a unit. The double the amount, okay. Um, to be honest, I think Unleash the Wildwood. Oh, I, I took the money there. My fucking bad. Alright, something else that got a rejuvenate could actually be pretty fucking helpful here. So we're going to take the Awakened Hollow. Um, and what I usually take is I take Light of Seraph because having extra units on each floor is pretty helpful. I don't really run out of mana and with the... Um, with what we've done, like duplicating those cards, we have mana for days. So, um, I don't think we need to go down here. I don't need to... I mean, going to magic would be amazing. But, I then have no use for... I don't need to remove any cards. I mean, I could remove some of the, um... The stewards, I guess. Um, but I don't need to use the pyre. Here, I've got 75 gold. I can get a new unit. I've, I mean, we get the Dark Forge, whatever. But we also get to start upgrading our units. Do I want... Now, we can get spikes, which gives us some, like, return. Or I can just say, screw it. <laughs> We're just going full explosion. <laughs> and we heal by our explosion. Um, I'm too tired to earn money. That's how much school is messed up. Oh dear, Cthulhu. May I rest my head on your tentacles some hours? I mean, look, you are more than welcome to rest rest your head upon his tentacles. He has all of the tentacles to rest. There you go, there's some tentacles for you, Sekhmet. Um, more than... More mana than 19, uh, the 90s RPG uh, with a Game Shark attached, indeed. Um, alright, so we're gonna- I'm gonna go explosive healing. We're gonna do 40 to the front unit. I'd like it to go across everything. We'll do it this way. That's so nice of him. Is that even low? We got the octopus. We got, we got the squid here giving you a hug. The kraken. Right. So we already picked you up. Do I want a second one of you? Like, one each floor. 
No, I don't want more. Because the more I get, that means more I have to spread my healing. So I don't, I want to husk her. Now. Multi-strike. That's pretty awesome. Oh god, thank you. Seg, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Gifted one to Zelda Man, that's awesome. You didn't have to do that, I really do appreciate it though. We upgrade with multi strike. What we up upgrade with multi strike? I think we upgrade something. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I think I give Husk Hermit <gasps> multi strike. It's either that, or we get we give it to this. So basically, my what I want to do, I'm gonna have Siren of the Sea and the Awakened Hollow be on the same line. Um. Actually, no. I'll give it to Cold. I'm gonna give it to Cold Seer, or Cold Celia. Because then that's six frost strike a turn. <laughs> that's so ridiculous. Hey, we got some Runzy Nomicons and Runzy Lore objects in the chat there. That's what you like to see. The cult leader is so nice, his and his community too. But well, thank you. Arsak, man, you absolute legend has cheered up my covid -y ass. Oh, wait! As Zelda Man, did you somehow gain COVID over the holiday season? Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give Incan armor <laughs> to this. So not only is he cultivating too, so it increases the attack and life of the friendly unit with the lowest value on the store, on the floor. I think it's just across the entire train. Either way, I'm going to cancel it gains armor. <laughs> why is Cold Celia. Uh, Cold Celia, why are you, you're breaking my heart? You're shaking my confidence greatly. Why, are we sh why is she shaking confidence? What's happened? Um, well, do I want to give extra help to anyone? I do. I'm going to give extra health to the Awakened Hollow. Make him a little more tanky. <laughs> now, let's reroll. Because there are a few <laughs> ones that I want to... There is Lardstone. <laughs> do I want to give anyone a Lardstone? <laughs> I can make some very tanky people here. I'm gonna give it to the hermit because I don't. I mean, it's gonna even if it's on cold seer, that's fine. Um, well, I'm waiting on the results of my PCR tests, but my lap flow was positive. Ooh, fuck. Family members have it. I have symptoms, so yeah, possibly COVID. -y. Cheers, man. I wish you a speedy recovery. You're not the first person that I know that has acquired it, so I wish you luck. Um, well, I mean, if I'm putting Cold Sea, oh no, I'm putting Siren of the Sea with our dude down, with our Awakened Hollow down there, so they're not going to go on the same floor. I'm gonna give it to the to the husk hermit. Um, 
<laughs> we got 25 HP, 5 and 10. I, do I just make him like extremely beefy? No, there's no point. I might give the Siren of the Sea a Give Siren will see a bit of a boost. Oh. On to the next battle. Um, Cecilia reminds me of the song Cecilia. Those are the oh, okay. That's fair. Um, but on the plus side, I likely have 10 days of rest. And I need that after working nearly all of December. Yes, you do. Card games, card games, card games, yeah! Hey, Mox, how's it going? Welcome in, welcome in. Alright, so... Non-boss enemies gain multi-strike? Oh, that's bitching. He's got frickin'... Anytime I use a spell, he gains 10 armor. Oh, that is harsh. I mean, that should be fine, though, because that's 12 damage, that's 8 damage. As long as those are the only two enemies we get, I think it's fine if we take that. But we do gain another artifact at the end, so... Um, now I said it, this was going to go with the other dude, so I don't really want to put her on the same floor. <gasps> That's just going to keep raising his stats. Sorry, Mollusk Mage. Oh, she's dead. Shit. Alright, oh, mind. Nom nom, indeed. to do that.
There we go. It just gives me an artifact. Okay. Um, it's a forgotten name. When you play your third spell of a turn, all cards gain plus one magic power for the rest of this battle. That's pretty amazing. Mox, how are you feeling, Mox? Who knew draw um drawing hands would be so infuriating? <laughs> hands can be infuriating. Oh, we do want that. Right, so we can restore 10 health to a unit and descend it, okay. Deal damage equals if was a number of spikes on a friendly unit. Well, we don't have any spikes. Or we can do focused growth. We still 25 health, plus two cards next turn. Focus, bro. I'm so deed. Yeah, how did the rest of your um 24-hour stream go, man? Also, yeah, top deck can be so cruel. <laughs> I might take this, the reserve. Alright, where do I want to go? Go there, but don't really have much money. I want to grab more money, I think. We can go to the concealed cavern this way. Let me upgrade my cards. Permafrost? Okay, that's not what I'm after. <laughs> Can reduce the cost of more cards. I'm gonna reduce the cost of this. Very wrong. That's what I want. This is what I want. Especially when you fall off the top of the deck and hit your head, yeah. Uh, it was amazing. Thinking of doing it annually, not gonna lie, I woke up like 15 minutes ago. Hey, no worries. But on doing a 24 hour stream, Mr. Fox, that was amazing. Thought you'd be asleep all day. You, it's difficult to sleep all day, actually. It's a shame I can't reduce the cost of that other one, so it's just constantly just zero cost, draw two cards. <laughs> that would just be a little ridiculous, though. Um, I think... I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna, I think we're gonna upgrade one of these so they can do a little more damage. Constant healing a turn though. That's that's gonna be pretty amazing. Oh. Alright, what do we got here? Ember deposits frozen in place. Collect around openings in the ground. Just excuse me. I a byproduct of the pyre. These energy um, these energy sources have gone dormant. A closer inspection. At closer inspection, one of the mounds is a rubble. Seems to have something more powerful protruding from it. While you... While you could take the protrusions, removing some of the amber deposits and hauling them from the area would help eventually revive them with some power, granting you something later on. So I could get the abandoned stave... I think I'd only gain plus one because I only I've got the two vent I've had two vengeful shards and I've only got one dead weight. I've got one blight in my deck. I think it's based off of blight. Or I can take 
three calcified ambers and get upgraded ones later on. Gonna lurk real quick while I listen to some messages. Hey, no worries. Be back in a few minutes. Still got you on the big screen. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it greatly. Solution to drawing hands. Cut off and hide it. <laughs> Cut it off. What? Cute it off or hide it. I might get the upgraded versions later on. You remove the amber deposits from the pile and place them on the bone shaker. They may be a burden now, but they could prove useful later on. The train rumbles to life, leaving the glowing relic behind for another lucky traveller. Because I think the upgrade is, like, pretty fucking good. If I had more blight to begin with, I would have taken the stuff. Uh, Non-boss enemies restore health when they move floors. That's not a problem for me. I got some pretty powerful units. what I figured was going to happen. Just gain some mana. Put you on here. Put you on here. I should have put hold over on one of those that gave me mana every turn. Jesus Christ, I'm an idiot.
where he's got sweep. That's a little annoying. That's a that's a not useful card. I'm gonna take the money because I don't have any sting spells. Mm. I mean that's helpful because that keeps an enemy in place, I guess. I mean, that can be helpful. I mean, as much as I want to go down there, I mean, I could go down there because we got it here as well. Yeah, I'm going to go down here. We got this side. Next side, I have to go grab the thing. When you summon the second unit during a turn, gain three mana. I'm not going to be summoning multiple units a turn. That works well if you're running might or the the moats and the imps, an imp build. But we're going to go winged indulgence. All right, that's perfect. That could be fun. But we're taking the Priory Cloak. Whenever I hear a unit is still deal the limit of damage. Yeah, okay, yeah. I think I might just take the Infused Mallet now. Because there's no guarantee I can get anything that I'll be able to purchase if I re-roll the dice. Re-roll it. So we're going to go with that. Fell wings light, or the wings of light. This crypt warrior has become winged once more, creating statues in her former image to block your assault. But they have spell shield five. Okay. Great. I'm not really doing like damage anyway, so that's fine. It's actually a great start, really.
Oh, shit, relentless. Okay, fine. Could be you. Uh, that that's the only thing I think. Pyro nice. I am okay on unit space. I could probably do with some more mana. I'll take more mana in this instance. Oh, okay, we got this anyway. Awesome. So, similar to before, ember deposits are seen. Can you please go away? Seen piled up. But this time you can see the ice beginning to melt, revealing and even um, revealing the more powerful embers beneath, as if influenced by the warming of its related energy. The calcified embers you removed before start to melt, as well as granting you something much more uniform, uh, useful to harness along your journey. Convert all the calcified embers into excavated embers, which, I mean, which consume. But you gain two energy, and you get to draw a card. We like this. I'm actually tempted to go this way. Go to the merchant of magic. Let's see what we get from our for our first watch. They want me to go the they want me to get the spike. No, we're gonna just go full explosive. 60 damage to the front enemy. Let's go. We really don't have much money to be spending for it though. Ooh, a holdover. Back again. A uh, good game from those Ember cards, indeed. Now! Now. What we have a what we've got here is we've got Keepstone, which gives us holdover. That actually reminds me of something. Am I still muted? I am still muted here. I've no idea whether any of my mods decided to stop jumping in. Whatever. So I can use this, and I can either keep drawing this to get my engraft, which gives me an extra one mana guaranteed a turn, plus one heal, plus a 60 bomb on my main guy. Or, I can apply it to Pyre and Ice. And that will then go back into my hand. I can then use the minus one cost on Pyre and Heist Ice to make that a free cost card. Which then means I get a free 90 damage against one enemy on the top floor every turn.
That's very, very tempting. <laughs> You have no idea how tempting that is! It is that 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 is that is a lot of work, but the problem is that means it's it's it can only be used on the top floor, on the third floor. Um I would need to have drawn it, and I need to let units get to the top floor. Or, I gain one extra mana per turn constantly, so that there would always be five mana a turn, plus one heal, plus one extra draw on the next turn, on top of um, causing a 60 damage explosion to an enemy on the floor that my champion is on. I honestly think Engraft is the right one in this instance. I'm gonna go with Engraft because that's that's where we're going. I'm still gonna apply... I don't really want to give it Surge Stone, because that removes it from the deck. I'm gonna give... I'm still gonna give Ice and Pyre this, so it's it's a free 90 damage whenever it rolls around. And it's a 50 reroll. I'm not gonna get... I, if I do that, I'd have 30 man, mana. I can get something, but nothing of this will be of any good, I don't think. So I'm not gonna reroll. Let's see what we get in the Concealed Caverns. Ooh, cave, okay. A cave of a thousand eyes seems to awaken as you grow near. From deep within, a voice emerges. Relinquish your life or your wealth, and you may be rewarded, if you are deemed worthy. You don't often make offering to unknown cave beasts, but you consider making an exception in this one's case. Uh, okay, give money. You hear a loud bell. A loud belch emerges from the shadowy depth. Your tribute disp uh, disappears into the darkness, but no recognition of your worth follows. Your worth has yet to be determined. Only further tributes will sway us further. Uh, we continue to question your worth. Only further tribute will sway us further. I can do one more of this, and a fifty percent chance. The super 90 damage is cool, but a dish, uh, but situational's but huge. In graft will keep on giving, yes. All right, gain seven mana on the first turn of battle. The problem is, is that there, freaking will go away. We deem you worthy. Enemy units appear on each floor. Sure. <laughs> All right, that paid off. That's cool. Okay. What do we have? That's... Um... Play you.
Is that a cherub with a massive sack? It is a cherub with a massive sack. If you kill the cherub with the massive sack, he gives you, um, they give you gold. This one gives, this, when it dies, I will gain 100 gold. That's pretty man. I might need to take a fire thing soon. Alright, that's of no use to me. Responsible giving a huge sack of gold to a winged naked baby. <laughs> it does really, doesn't it? Its attack is ridiculous. Alright. Don't have an explosion, that's fine.
sure. Why not? <laughs> Pyro and Ice actually was useful. Jeez, 21 damage. Alright. Spikes. That could be nice. I might take the Awake. Restore 30 HP. Oh, permafrost. Alright. So, you can just bear with me one moment, gamers. I need to take a bio break. I want to grab another drink. Um, so, while we'll do that, I'm just going to run a quick ad from our hashtag not sponsors. So, you can just hang on just one second, and we'll be right back after those few short words. Good time for a drink break for me then as well, and some more messages, indeed. But I have returned, everyone! How did you enjoy the amounts of uh, chair cam? Did you go? Alright, so what we got here? Oh, I need the pyre, I think. I need the pyre. We don't really have anything that we could do. Or do I risk it? Welcome back, our lord! <laughs> Is that Shunra Fire? 
That's that's a cool email, I like that. Alright, so we got a choice here. I can go this way, I can get 20 health back in my pyre. We can upgrade our spells some more. We get some more money, we can go to the merchant of trinkets. Arson emo is always appreciated. We can go this way. I'm not going to use the unstable vortex. Now, the reason why I go this way, we got the merchant of steel, yes. But we got a hell vent. And I can duplicate more cards. To, I can duplicate a card to hold over. I'm I'm going <laughs> I'm going this way. We're gonna go for the hell vent. <laughs> um, and funnily enough. We're gonna hold over. I think we're gonna go. For, I think I'm going for running. Oh, I could. Oh, I could hold over. I could duplicate one of these. But we could duplicate Firebound. No. What we're gonna duplicate is I am going to duplicate this in Graft right here. Um. 40 cards in my deck. I check the Merchant of Steel, see if there's anything good. That's nice. Uh, it's not really as useful as it looks. That's fine. That I'm just gonna ignore. Those, those I'm gonna ignore. I'm not gonna refresh either, because... I want to spend my money here. Nope. Here we go. Both of those are actually really good. Definitely want that. I want that. There's no point in me doing that then. Which means I can go back here and I can roll the dice here. Endless. Is it worth giving anything endless? No, not really. Shasta. The end is near. The incantation of hell's the incarnation of hell's greatest foe has the power to cleanse all units of effects which don't benefit Seraph. Ooh. Okay. Well, there goes that was a waste of me getting all of the um removes half of Oh, uh, removes half, so it's not as bad as it seems. Diabolical Armitation. Unlock the Umbra, because we've unlocked Umbra at the very least.
I love the music in this game. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, he's attacking now. God damn it. Okay.
We've unlocked Umbra as well. Umbra are a really interesting class. We have reignited the fires of hell. A cramped train. There we go. We're gonna run up over 40 cards. Your Covenant rank 3. Hell yeah! And 9 cards were turned into Master. The Awoken Rail Spike. <gasps> Draw X cards and apply minus 1 to those cards. Uh, and we got the... Uh, Petrified Crucible. Spike steal plus 1 damage per stack. Harness the Titan. Plus five magic power, two spells in hand. Uh, incant, minus five health, draw one card. That, uh, that's, uh, boom goes the dynamite indeed. We're on a streak of one. <laughs> That w that was a fairly good run. I yeah, I I am fairly happy with that run. All right, new run. Alright guys, um, you can guys can pick what I choose. So we got the main, your primary clan. We can either have um, Hellhorned with the Hornbreaker Prince. We got the Awoken which we just had with either the Sentient or the Wilden Ten. We could go with Stygian Guard with our Thyphus Titan's Bane. Or, our new clan, the Umbra. With the Penumbra. Um, Zelda Man. Pick, pick, pick the primary clan. We'll see what we can do. Or I could just do random. <laughs> that is a lot of arms. Go for the new clan, new blood. Always love the darkness. Okay, uh, Sekhmet. You can then pick what the allied clan is. So we could either have Hellhorns, where we get the Meteor Touch. Where we get Torch, which is Meteor Damage. We can go with the Awoken, where we get either more Restoration, or we can get Increased um, Attack. Or we can go with a Stygian Guard, which deals damage to the front enemy. Or I could do random. If 
Oh, what? The Stygian? The direct damage? Sure. We go Umbra Stygian then. This is going to be interesting. So Umbra's whole shtick is these morsels. Um, and... You basically, you put them behind your the unit, and the unit they're behind will eat them and gain power. Alright, so we got dis we got two discards with the Titan's Gratitude. So we kind of want to look for... Um, we want to look for more cards that have offering on them. So if we discard them, they get played instead. I can imagine how good um, that Umbra dude would be at tickling with all those arms. Yeah. Alright, so we got Consume. Sure. Prismal Dust. So Consume. Apply X 1x shield damage. Alright. Or damage shields. Okay. Alright. Um, let's start with this, see what we get. Morsels enter with damage shield. What do we... Hmm. Well, morsels are going to get eaten. I mean, that could work for... If they've got sweep. That could be good. But I also like the infused mallet because that actually worked. That actually procced a lot of the time. I've got to go infused mallet. Oh. Trample could be fun. Though I like extra capacity. I might go with the architect. If we if we get the trample later on, I'll take it. Yeah, we'll take the extra spikes. That's fine. Wow. Okay. Get the money. Mortal Trade. Ember Drain. At the start of your turn, lose one. Ooh. 
Oh, okay, so it. Mm, I mean, uh, four life steal for minus two, then minus one mana. I might take the perils of production though, instead. Because that gives me a three mana boost to begin with. The lifesteal. There are perils of production. All right, there we go. There's a, there's an offering. I like a clan that brings um its own s own snacks. Umbras of my type of demon. Um, what even units do I even have? I only have stewards right now. Is this even worth going here? I mean, I could gain a new Stygian. I need a tank. I need something to tank. I didn't get anything to tank. Shit! Alright, name the siren. I just got I just gained something to tank. Name the siren is a tank now. Enemies on each floor, okay. Hammer, do your thing. Not... I got, like, one kill? Consume card. Um, if you don't get a tank, you A-team that shit and make one. Yes. This is a... I think this might be a dead run.
This didn't go too well. Just made it. Imagine the steel. Shh. Oh no, no, we got we're becoming a pyromanes merchant of magic. No, that's okay. That's okay. We get lucky. Either one of those two I could use and if we get lucky. Say this one. Perfect. That's perfect. Is it tougher playing the newer clan as the primary, as you have less cards? Um, uh, yeah and no. Um, so you've got less cards, you don't have all of their, um, like their relics unlocked. So it is more of a challenge. I also, because I won, I got a new modifier that's added onto the game. I can take those modifiers off, but I don't. Um, so... Let's take Siren of the Sea. Let's upgrade some cards. Don't really want permafrost. Sure, we'll take that. Reroll. That would have been nice on the last one. Get the Eternal Stone. And the other card that we got. But that's fine, I want that. So I want to do more damage with it. in the hell event today. Is it the same one? I still only have the one dead way. I'm gonna take I'm gonna do the same one here. Because that's there's no point in me doing that. There's no guarantee I'll get more um more blind. It's time for me to head out. Good luck. Hey thank you very much Sec I appreciate you stopping by Thank you again for gifting that sub to Zelda Man. That was awesome of you. Enjoy the rest of your evening and week. Mm. Weekend, I should say. Talos the Architect. Uh, enemies enter with five armor. Oh, okay, she's pushing everyone back this time. God damn it. I hate it when she does that. <laughs> that. 
Uh, see you later in the segment, and thanks again for the sub. She's got an annoying mode for... Almost died there. I'm about to die, actually. Shit. the boss we have more well the enemies attack first unless you get like quick it, it doesn't work What I want to do is I want to do that. Deal X damage to the front uni, forever consumed. That's not a that that could be interesting. <gasps> Trigger feeding a morsel times two. I might do the forever consumed. Awesome. We kind of got a tank. Well, your hero is a little weak, um, but you rigged tank to doing good. Yes, indeed. And I've just gotten a 
another tank. Oh, I kind of want to go to the Umbral Banner. But I need the health. I need to get the health on the Pyre because I've taken so much damage. But the Mind Jacks might be nice. But this... The Hell's Banner is built for this class. Oh. All right, there we go. Now we got some sustainability, glum.
that That was a lot of damage. So I think it's over. <laughs> yeah, it's over. Oh! Oh, we survived with 14 HP. Might go Ember Cash. I mean, that could be good. But it costs a lot. So we got some, we got, we did get some excavator amber in the end. I need to go here. Okay. Always gain one, oh, like gain one mana, draw one. Or always gain a morsel. Always gaining a morsel is actually going to be pretty, pretty freaking helpful. And a morsel for free? Yes, please. Uh, can I have Blight 10 on it? Blight 10 or anything. Titan's Gorge. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, okay. The train stops near some familiar crystals. The Covenant's memorial is in the middle of a refracted is in the middle is refracted twice by the crystals surrounding it. One larger, one smaller. In front of each of them are markings of the cre of a creature to stand to receive remaining energies. Upgrade a unit with plus two, plus thirty, plus thirty, 
or make a unit one. What units do I have? <laughs> you know that pseudo tank? Plus 30, plus 30. <laughs> On my pseudo tank. It then becomes a 50... A 50-80. <laughs> Where every time we use a spell, it gains plus 2 attack. Or, we can make it cost 1. I'm honestly torn. Yeah, I actually think making that any bigger is not the right move. Because if we make that a five cost you a five space unit that actually makes it very difficult for us to put anything on the same floor as it. However, if we make it a one space unit, we can put that on the same floor as our champion, and suddenly, that becomes a very beefy floor. <laughs> I think... I think I'm going to take the small one. After a tiny spark of light and a faint squeak, your ally steps away from the crystal, much smaller than before. They're so small, in fact, that you almost miss them entirely before returning to the train. I think that was probably the better call. Spell shield. We... Most of my spells... I've only got a few targeting spells. The only one that really kind of matters that I really would like to like use multiple times would be the, um, the Antibon Assault. But... We're not gonna kill with it. What do we get for it? 150 gold. What's coming up? I mean, if we get there, I'm going for the remains. We're going to the Merchant of Magic. No. We won't. We won't put the spell shields on because it... Doing direct damage is a, a kind of important here. Oh, especially with these stealth assholes.
You're lasting longer than I thought you would on this run, considering your early fire time. Yes. I am surprised at how well I've gone. It's actually really annoying. Because he's still stealth as well. So I've had you on in the background while I organized my real card collection because I got a card bind for Christmas. Nice. And I've had to take it apart four times now because I keep finding cards. Oh, oof, man. That sucks. That is that is kind of rough. All right. One. Two. And I can't use it. Damn it. over here. That wasn't too bad of a run. Making of a morsel. Add a morsel miner to your head. The shade lamp. The first time each a turn an enemy unit dies, add two morsels to your hand. That's not bad. Alright, new run. I think I want to do a Hellhound run. Do we want to go Awoken? And do extra damage? Or do we go... Stygian? Or do we do Umbra? I might try Umbra. 
Very excited though. I found the right arm of Exodia at Walmart of all places two days ago. Damn! Nice! Bring uh, Umbra's allied so you have snacks, yeah. I mean, the rage not great, but we did get two Antumbra assaults. We got Impa, um, Impes... Impes... Um, Impesevis? Uh, that. Press... Pressive? Or oh, Impressive. I can't talk. Attuned. Sacrifice Imp. Deal 50 damage to the front enemy unit. Alright. Now this is what we get here. Alright, winged clippings. Spell cards with consume. I've been discarded instead. That's not soon. When a card with consume is placed. How many consumes do I have? I have no consume cards. Those are both terrible. I'm gonna play wing clippings though. Hmm. Alright, Slay. Gain 10 armor revenge. 2 rage. Armor 10, multi strike 1. Um, I think. I kinda want this. Actually, no, do I want this? Do we have anything that can really, not really tank for us? <laughs> not yet. How much direct damage do I have? I mean, we've got the Ritual of Battle, I guess. We've got some direct damage here. we got a couple of direct damages here. Alright, dude. Uh, I'm going to run, play some more Zelda before getting an early night. Hey, no worries. Enjoy the rest of your stream, man. Hey, thank you for stopping by, man. I do appreciate it. And thank you very much for the bits. I don't really want... I think I, I kind of want this. Plus four attack. Now, these guys have rage. Hey, you're welcome, mate. Have a good one. Yeah, you as well, my friend. Uh, an early unit draft will be good. Oh, that, that hurts.
some in. Quick and another. So, where do we want to go? We don't have much in the way of money. Um, we can get a, like a revolving molten imp. That could be helpful. Okay, resolve, summon good after combat. Morsel maker. <laughs> Let's give him a little bit more stability. Damage. No point in actually re rolling. Go. More exploding imps. Morsel Maker. Yeah, 
You're not a morsel maker, actually. Go this way. As you pass a train graveyard, you notice several of your fallen allies. Within the beasts of gnarled steel lie a now extinguished pyre shards. Even further inside the rubble, you can make out some last protected treasures. Perhaps if you were to reignite, relight the pyre shards using some of your own, the train would reveal their value. Cannot be healed. I don't really like that. What would I give plus twenty five HP to? If anything. Probably the Horned Warrior. The pyre shards flicker to life, the treasure within now revealed as the pyre removes its final defense. Yet as you leave, the pyre shard goes out once more, this time for good. You are all that is left. Daedalus of the Professor. Constructed explosives enter with damage shield. Oh, you bastard. Mind rip.
up, Steven? How's it going, man? Happy New Year! Welcome in, welcome in. Disney Plus. <laughs> okay, I'm here. Hello, Stephen. Welcome in. How's it going, man? Happy New Year to you, my friend. Chilling with Cassie, yeah, very nice. Been spending New Year with her. That is the main thing, spending time with loved ones, man. It's time we gain some more artifacts. Actually, yeah, I'm doing all right, thank you. Just here chilling. Cleansing water. The same two, okay. Maker, why not? Spell shield, too. We're not really attacking with spell shield, so fine. Go for it. Taken care of. Oh, we can play Mario Party at some point this week or next. That sounds good. I haven't actually scheduled anything in for next week, so when do you want to? Let me know when you want to play, man. Oh, okay, they're jumping. Put you on there. You're pretty much fine, but I'll do that. Quick. Put you there. And then I just fill this floor up with. Thank you for the redemption there, man. Drop you in front. And I can pop you there. Gain some more morsels. And drop a morsel on there.
level up this floor, I guess. Nah. Yeah, man, just let me know when you want to um, do the uh, do rewards it. I'm always down. Jumper. That can be nice to get, I think. Yes. Feast. Trigger when feeding. Eats a. Sure, let's take face, why not? Hey Steven, do you wanna play Monday? For some Mario Party? Empowering up some spells might be the right course here. Rather than going for all the trinkets, we don't really have an abundance of money. Ooh, a holdover for a spell. <laughs> Plus six damage. Not a great start. to save myself there.
Oh, he had sweep. That doesn't matter. is a dead run as well. Yep. That was a pretty shitty boss for me to get. gonna do we're gonna go back here we're gonna run another quick ad unfortunately um but i would like to grab another drink quick bio break and i'll be right back we'll do um do a challenge run i think see what the day's daily challenge is so we'll be back after these very quick words from our hashtag not sponsors
Give me one moment. Alrighty then. As I said, we'll look at what the daily challenges are. Um, see what this is then. Okay, uh, sure, that's not bad. When a non-champion dies, it's purged from your deck. Cards are not discarded each turn, okay. Alright, alright. Zoom units go. Sure, okay, why not? These are actually pretty fucking terrible.
I'm gonna need to get. <laughs> Game data files are corrupted. Cards and characters may not display assets correctly. Okay, whatever. Guys. Whoops. Oh, that works, actually. Surprisingly works. That actually works. Awesome. This thing. Bricklash. Could be good here. Hmm. <laughs> 
Shadow to the Pyre. Remnants of a once great beacon of hell are strewn about. When it was extinguished, the shattered pyre must have been ejected through these hell vents across all nine rings. Taking advantage of the opportunity, some entrepreneurial soul decided to set up a still near the hell vent, converting what energy remained into potent liquids. While the owner must have heard you coming and scrambled off, some of their products remain. Purge removes it from the deck for the rest of the run. I think this sip with caution. The forces of hell have battled ceaselessly in defense of the Bone Shaker, and you know that they would greatly enjoy the drink of the dubious liquid. The hearty constituents are also certain to stave off any adverse effects. Well, you hope so. Well, constitutions. Constituents, what am I talking about? Alright, days on strike, that's fine, I can deal with that.
Hey, I'm making this work. That's good. That could be good. Nah, that's too frail. need any more space because I've got the per I've pretty much got the perfect setup here. Is there anything I actually at this point I want to duplicate? Is there anything worth duplicating? I'm not upgrading anything yet if I'm doing it that way. Could duplicate another one of these. Or I could do. No, oh, well, no, because I don't have enough. I think duplicating another one of these, actually. No, having an extra. Full another artifact. Don't have any X costs. Give yourself some uh Give yourself some extra health. I guess there's a little tankier. Removing any cards. No, I won't take the artifact, but don't want to risk it.
Uh, order. do that. Don't want any of those, that's fine. Anything worth duplicating at the Hellbound? I mean, there could be that. Nothing really. I think I want to go this way. I actually want to visit the Merchant of Magic. That's fine. That's fine. Do that. Let's reroll. No. Be good. We don't have any, so we just gain one extra mana. Upgrades to two. It then trims it from the deck. Because with this, at the very late, what happens is I'm still cycling through them. And if I draw all, if I draw both, I've got to spend two. And I'm negative one when I get when I'm cycling through the deck eventually. So I want this. Hello. Stay a while and listen. Hairpin Shagger. <laughs> Hello, Vorty. Welcome in, welcome in. But, Camping Tassie, thank you very much for the raid. I do appreciate it. Welcome in, raiders. You know what? Just chatting. You guys, are, let me know when you're at your ads. 
Daddy, I think you're out of your rounds. Either way, thank you for coming on over. I do greatly appreciate it, man. What were we playing? But hey, Forty, how's it going? You are playing more Banjo Kazooie? How far? How much further did you get in there, my friend? Kind of lurking, by the way. Hey, don't worry. You're lurking. That's all good. You're staying a while. You may be staying a while and listen, as uh, Deckard Kane did say. I'm sub, so I don't get ads. That is true. Bit pished and birds here with the raid. Hey, ain't no, ain't nothing wrong with being a little drunk. I hope all of you had a good New Year's though. Happy New Year to all of you raiders. Thank you for coming on over. You had infinite amount of better streamers to come and raid, but you came over here. I do appreciate it. You're at that damned quiz? What quiz? What are you talking about, Tatsy? Oh, right, yeah. You're in the, um, the board game section of the game. Uh, so what we're playing today is we are playing Monster Train. It is a deck building game where we're going through the rings of hell trying to reignite the fires of hell. Um, and we're doing a challenge run at the moment and I'm making it work, surprisingly. So we're going to go with this. We're gonna take, I'm going to take the three calcified things. Hopefully it pays off. It's going to be a little bit of a pain. But hope I'm hoping... I'm hoping I can get through this. And it pays off. Sure, units enter with 15 armor. Oh, that's a shit start. I need to trim this down some. I've seen you play this before but never played it. Yeah, that's fair. It was for anyone else coming in new. That hasn't seen it. Thank you. 
sorry, what were you saying? You had to grab an eight. Don't worry. I was uh, just repeating what you said about never uh, seeing me play before, but never played it. I was saying I'm doing it for those uh, coming in. Three for a spy. That's bad. That's pretty fucking bad, actually. Losing that was actually pretty bad. I should have cloned it when I had the chance. I think I'll go with the third Pyagro. No, go in Graft. No, those are helpful for the deck. Yeah, you live and learn. 251 people got this far. And died. Oh, where is... Oh, Sermon, Sermon is there. Okay, so he's made it pretty far. I might have to go to the Merchant of Steel here. So I need to get... Um, I want to get another one of those up, if I can. To replace the one that I just lost. Multi-strike or quick would have been nice on that. Arceus, darkness incarnate. Using unknown ancient powers, Arceus summons shards of divinities to halt your advance. Looming darkness and shattering darkness. Shattering... Weight of Contrition card to the top of your draw pile. Fuck. I 
Ah, that, the looming dark shard is super fucking annoying. Alright. Welcome back, Greg. deal with that one.
Oh, that's okay. I'm running around, but back trying to get all the grunty secrets of the next one. Hey, it's all good. You need to do that. They are definitely needed. Okay, endless. Oh, endless works. You've been working on the spawner stuff. Nice. I'm sure everyone will be. Um, I'm sure everyone's going to be like super happy with that. That just became awesome. Well, no, not really. No, that's actually pretty terrible. Unless I get it on the first draw. So probably gonna take it. Um, I don't really have an issue with mana anymore, so I'm gonna go to Light of Seraph. Hey, my fragments got upgraded. Similar to before, the M. Okay, yeah, thank you. Hey, our buddy's still going. Oh, he's up to the final boss. Alright. I think I need to upgrade my magic cards because I don't have many units that need upgrading. I don't have any that actually can be upgraded, so magic it is. That. That is of no use to me, so days. Heal. The forge. Let's make me stronger. Hold over. Is that what I'm after? Yes, a hold over on this would actually be pretty fucking awesome. Turn that into zero. Reroll. Remove and consume. Free mana constantly. This is gonna be awesome. Oh. What was that? You want some free mana? Units on every floor. That's fine.
also Gruntsy's party <laughs> trick, performance system. Performing a scary strip tease. Yeah, something like that. Um. you giving me a hundred because that there will likely actually survive Nothing available. No, there's not. That's the risk with um, Channel Song in this deck.
Awesome. 42 damage on the, um, on the pyre, though. Not great. Not great. Big rain solution, why not? Um... That could be useful. Alright, final section. Do I have anything... any units to upgrade? Nope. So that could be entirely pointless. But I get health. And I could upgrade my train stewards a bit, actually. Fire health is actually very fucking nice. Endless. I can add endless too. That makes him a little better. Sure, why not? Time for the boss fight. Ah, sap three. Great. Okay. And damage. That's fine. Time for some more epic music. Do think about that for a minute. Do I need to think about that for a minute, Camping Teddy?
If you have to, you're gonna have to. That's... that is absolutely... that's a terrible floor up there. There's no way I can save that. <laughs> I was so close. Me wow. How's the um how's the Minecraft going, Grey? I was so close. That was that was so annoying. That that, that was close. That wasn't too bad. Outcome lost. Time. It took me an hour to do that run. That wasn't too bad. Well, I end up on the on the thing. 118th. Not too bad.
Could have been better. Uh, I mean, isn't there like a achievements link to sort it? I think there is. Yeah, 40, 40,000 or 50,000 points. Let's start a new run, shall we? Got all the questions for next time stream. Hey, nice. Actually, I don't really, I don't think I want to start a new run. But you're looking at it. I think what I want to do is I do want to actually end. Mainly because if I get in another run, it could take me like another couple of hours, I think, for a good run. So we are going to end there. We're going to go and raid out, I think. Um. I likely will be playing this some more next week, so I did enjoy that. Uh, so once you stick around, we'll find someone to go and raid to tomorrow. Fresh for tomorrow? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I should probably go and get some sleep. <laughs> so. Um, well, uh, thank you very much to everyone for watching. Uh, we got some thank yous to give. So thank you to Hasgam Zeldaman for the bits. And thank you uh, from Sekhmet for gifting the sub to Zeldaman as well. That was rather awesome of you guys. You didn't have to do that. And thank you all for coming out and watching me live or watching me post on Twitch. Or post VOD on Twitch or on YouTube whenever this eventually comes out. On YouTube that is. You all took the time to come over here and watch me when there are infinitely better people out there who you could have gone to say hello to. But no, you came here. And that means a lot to me. So thank you very much. Um, and thank you very much to our moderation team today at Completely Baked Streamlabs and Dr. J. Hunter Giller and Nikolai Bladoff. If it wasn't for you guys, all this stream would not run as smoothly as it does. Always, buddy. Enjoy hanging out here. Hey, no, thank you very much. <laughs> Not sure we're going to raid. We'll find out in a moment. But thank you very much for watching. If you're watching this post VOD on Twitch or on YouTube, well, why don't you think about hitting that follow or subscribe button in your relevant locations? If you do it on Twitch, I will reduce the uh, bit number guess uh, the bit number the bit amounts of guesses needed. To summon Lord Cthulhu by half. But that will mean that his prize money will go down. If you are watching on YouTube, why don't you think about hitting that thumbs up or leaving a friendly constructive comment? Because if you do that, well, it helps get this video noticed by that dreaded algorithm. You can do both of those things. Well, it doubles the exposure and you would be majestic people. Bye, Grey. And tomorrow for Back for Blood with us and the Baked Crew. Yes, indeed. That is true. I will be hosting the Back for Blood tomorrow. Um, tomorrow after morning, afternoon-ish, or something or other. Have a look out for it on Twitter, on Discord, or whatnot. It'll be up there. Um, obviously, though, you can come over while we are live on Twitch, because you don't have a luck, or interact with us in chat. Either option is good with me, as ultimately it's your viewership that really drives things forward here on this channel. So, let us see who is currently live. Who we can go and say hello to. Well, 
want to see if there's anyone playing any card games. It doesn't look like anyone is playing any other kind of card games. Between 11 and half 11 tomorrow morning. That, yeah, roughly around that time. Sometime then. <laughs> you know what? He's come over to our neck of the woods every so often. Would you please, 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 please mute. Thank you. Jesus Christ. We're going to go and say hello to Mr. Next Gen. He is currently playing Devil May Cry 3. So you can join us for this raid. Well, that would be mighty fantastic. Please do copy we read from the shadows to make some legends so they know exactly where we have come from. Um, I think he might be ending. I don't know. We're about to find out. You can't join us. I do understand. So until next time, everybody, stay safe.